Good day YouTube. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video I'm going to show you how to build a one-to-one -one common mode choke. These are some of the parts. This is a 4x4 four four inch box and I have two SO239s. These are the kind that you solder and we have some cable tie mounts here they are I already have them installed with screws you're going to need uh, some of these tie wraps various sizes those are the, the small ones and I got some medium ones there the toroid that I'm going to be using, it, this is the FT240-31. I have two and I use electrical tape to combine them together. The coax I'll be using is the RG400. So I bought the majority of these items off of Amazon. All right, so this is about 10 feet. I'm not going to use all of it. So let's uh, show you some reference material that uh, I was reading up on. And uh, I decided to go ahead and make a video to show you guys how I build my one-to-one -one common mode choke. So here's the, uh, the reference that I'm using. It's uh, Steve. He's now a silent key. His call was... Golf 3 Tango X-Ray Quebec. And this has some very good information here. So it's a good read. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so if you look at these gray bars, those are the amateur radio bands. And what you want is you want to have an impedance as high as possible, um, the light green or even the darker green, and you want to have a resistive resistance. Um, what do they call it? The uh, resistive over the frequency that you want. So it's that black line. So I remember when I showed you that I'm using Core uh, Mix Thirty One. So that's what I'm using now. So this is how we use the chart. Um, I think this is a single core. So uh, RG58 is what he uses, but I like this note here, and that's why I use the RG400. He says, for high power application, RG400 coax can be use in place of RG58 with little change to choke impedances. So that's why I got the RG400. So looking at this here, um, this one right here, uh, RG58 with eight turns using the 240-31 mix. See that black line? And that covers, uh, let's see here, where are we at? Doesn't quite make it to 80 meters, and uh, but it covers all the other amateur radio bands. And the so the impedance for the eight turns RG58, it's looking at uh, roughly the yellow band so right here, about 2,000 ohms. Okay. Cool. And I, I saw this here when he started using a two-stacked number 31, and here's the results. So we have single stack is right here, double stack, and the... <clears throat> and the four stack right here. So if I have a double stack with 31 mix, 
uh, using nine turns, and this is what we got. It covers 80 meters, which um, I like to talk on, and uh, 40 meters, and it also covers 20 meters. So those are the, basically the three bands that I, I talk on, and it's green, the lighter green. So around 4,000 ohms of um, impedance. So this is my target here. Nine turns using the RG400, two stack, 240-31 mix toroid. This is what gave me the inspiration to build one. So this is a commercially bought one-to-one -one common mode choke. It has SO239s on both ends. So each turn is counted as the cable passes through the center of the, of the core. So starting here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there are eleven turns in this one to one common mode choke. This is the commercial brand. Okay, the first thing I did here was uh, I took my X-Acto knife and then I, I scored it around the cable to where I can just bend it and it starts to split. Okay, now we're using your wife's cutting board. See how it's starting to peel right there? It comes off just like that. Now I'm just going to peel back the grounding. I'm going to get a, something sharp and try to unbraid the ground. So it's double braided. I took the majority uh, of the of the braids apart. So I'm just gonna move it all to one side. I did lose some strands. Just pulling apart the loose ones and then I'm just going to twist it okay so this looks like it's about an inch and a half I would say I'm not really precise on measuring but you want to make sure that we have enough uh, center conductor so that we can solder it to the SO239 center pin and also have enough room for this shield to be soldered to the to the shield here. So take a look here. This is pass number one. I got two zip ties. I put a crisscross pattern on the, on the zip ties to keep this. Uh, leads in place because it's going to be sliding. I tell you what, this is a uh, a workout on your finger muscles. So I got to change one. Remember I was telling you that I was going to do nine turns with two cores. How many do I have now? 
This is one, two, three, four, five, six is the pass through, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven turns through the core. I got two zip ties right there ready to be cut. Let me cut that right now. You know what I decided to do 11 turns because this the one I already have I bought this this has 11 turns already also so I'm basically emulating this box one two three four five six pass through seven eight nine ten eleven and it goes to the other SO239 so that's it I did 11 turns So it's identical to what I already have. See, and let me zoom out, you can compare the two. We are done. All right, so when I soldered the, the center pin and also the shield, uh, I use a, a 100 watt soldering gun so that uh, I don't melt the center insulator. All right, so let's uh, make sure this works here. Okay, we're gonna go to the, the center, to center, that's good. And then we're gonna test the shield, the ground. That's good, and we're gonna test the ground to the center pin that's good so this is what I have remaining I have six feet of cable remaining so I use about four feet on this project make sure you have enough coax when you do this one other thing um, if you're planning on putting your common mode choke outside, it's best to drill two holes in the bottom so it can has it has ventilation and if there's condensation inside, it would drain. All right. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. My name is Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. I got this thing already ready to go and installed and labeled 73 and have a great day.